Hello everyone, welcome back to another of my Ruby Volume 7 reactions. This time we'll be tackling the last chapter, chapter 13, The Enemy of Trust. So this is it for a while, I think. This has been an excellent, excellent volume, I have to say that. the I feel like the pacing's been really good, just the whole volume, I've really enjoyed it. Some of the things haven't been great, obviously, for our heroes, but the chapter from a viewer standpoint has been, sorry, the volume has been really excellent. So what did we have last time? It's interesting because this is the last chapter, and while there's nothing stopping me from making another video if I have some other thoughts after this, there's something about this being the last chapter which feels like it should have a little bit more thought, but that said I haven't really thought of anything. So last week in chapter 12 we had the fight between the Aesops and Team Ruby, where Team Ruby managed to deliver a beatdown which was extremely satisfying to watch. I went through looking for some pictures and some freeze frames and this is one of my favourites. There were plenty, but watching Ruby just clock hair up the side of the head was pretty good. We also had Neo who attacked Oscar for the lamp but managed to get found out so we'll be looking forward to that this episode. We also had the extremely sad Crow, Clover, and Tyrion fight. That's still annoying, I mean, I can- I know why people are annoyed. I think rightfully- well, you can direct your annoyance at anyone, but really it was just a huge- while things were going right, everyone was fine. You know, you could see that they could work together, but you knew that behind them there were all of these personalities, different- you know, their own sort of backgrounds, their own things, so- while it's frustrating, I can say, heck, if you want to blame anyone, you could blame Ironwood for that. I mean, individually you can say, okay, Robin shouldn't have done this, Clover shouldn't have done that, Crow shouldn't have, you know, decided to stop fighting Tyrion. But to be fair, Crow initially turned right to Tyrion as soon as Tyrion revealed himself. So then you could blame Clover for, you know, not also redirecting his attention at the obvious higher threat who was Tyrion. But then you can also go back further and say, well, this wouldn't have happened because everyone was happily taking Tyrion back into custody at the time, and they were only pushed because Ironwood flipped and then sent the order and put out the wanted notice on everyone. So I'm not here to pass blame. It's annoying, it was tragic, and we got a horrifyingly lovely picture out of it. And I think the only other thing that we have is Winter was sent with Penny to go retrieve the power of the Winter Maiden. So that's the other thing that I'm anticipating is a fight between Penny, Winter, and Cinder. Although since Winter is there to claim the power and Penny was there to defend, I wonder if they're actually going to 2v1 much? See, I'm curious about this particular picture that was in the concept art last time. I don't know whether it's meant to indicate that Winter's going to focus on trying to perform the aura transfer while Penny runs interference, or whether they'll be both 2v1ing Cinder and then this represents a point where Winter's been, I don't know, taken out or otherwise, you know, incapacitated. So I'm not sure. I've already been talking for five minutes. Oh wait, no, hang on, I did a few false starts. In any case, I've been talking too long. So I would rather just get into this final episode. Um, I don't know whether I've got any other predictions. I don't really want to make any predictions, come to think of it. The only things that I'm anticipating, as I said, is we get the a fight with Neo and Team Juniper, Junior, Orange, and we get the Penny, Winter, and Cinder battle. Will we see Atlas fall this chapter? Maybe. That's something I'm going to have a guess at, because it's something that we've seen predicted sort of fairly early, and so my question was, is that something that's going to come to fruition this volume? Maybe. We didn't see where Ironwood was either last episode, so he might have been going directly for the... No, but then he needs, he needs the Maiden in order to open the vault. Okay, never mind that. See, that's why I'm not making predictions, because I'm not thinking clearly enough about it. So, without further ado, Volume 7, Chapter 13. I accidentally disconnected my headphones. The Enemy of Trust. 
who will you become when your greatest fears are realized? That could really be talking about anyone, but it does seem like it's talking about Ironwood. Um, he's the one whose fears have been really poked at the most and who's shown how different of a person he can be when he is fearful. Again, when he felt like things were under his control, he was able to become a good, strong leader, I think. But when Cinder managed to get in and stab, stab him with that uncertainty, he's gone paranoid. Am I recording audio? Good. This is the last time I'm gonna see this opening. On the other hand, it means I get to look forward to a new opening next volume. And wondering again how they're going to top this one, or at least be comparable. Okay, so let's look at it a bit more closely. We've seen Ironwood, his uncertainty, we've seen the Aesops. We've seen what's, you know, planning and plotting. There's um, Ironwood showing regret. He, there's many cases, I'm not sure whether there's still yet another case of him to show regret. We've seen them killing Grimm, we saw them take down the ice uh, geist. We've seen riots, we've seen Jacques manipulating or paying to have the votes manipulated. We've seen Robin, Tyrion and Crow. And now the reason we don't see Clover in that one is more clear, sadly. We haven't seen the staff yet. Give up. We've got you outnumbered. All right then. Neo has such confidence. I love her smile. Oof. What? Where'd she go? Freeze. We got to move. Go, go, get it, Grim Arm. You Atlas elites are all the same. You think hoarding power means you'll have it forever, but it just makes the rest of us hungrier. And I refuse to starve. This is some great camera work. Jesus. I don't know how I can forget how powerful Cinder is. Just wordless. That's no good. What are you doing? My life does. 
doesn't matter. I disagree. Uh, uh, hurry! We gotta lose them. I think we have to show that was the right decision. That was cheap. <laughs> Drop your weapons. Fall back. This way. Man, that really got to run. Neo is so good. Oh snap. This Winter Maiden isn't finished. It's not true. Back. Now Salem has the lamp, Ironwood has the staff, and we have nothing! Ren, that's enough. Hello? Anybody there? Can you hear me? Our scrolls? The doctor! <laughs> Finest mind in Atlas! Maria, what are you doing? Grabbing our getaway ship. We need to hightail it out of here. Where are you? The academy training room. We slipped away from some soldiers, but it won't be long before the- ah! They're here! We're on our way. Just stick together. Oscar? Oscar! I'm sorry, but you all need to go on without me. What are you doing, Oscar? There's something I have to do alone. Alone or with Ospin? Is Penny gonna get it? to protect the power of the maiden until I was ready I worry I may have lost track of time but you can tell Jane that I'm ready now ma'am if you do that I'll be gone I know I have a hard time remembering 
but I remember that. I can almost feel the chill. <laughs> What's your name? It's Penny, ma'am. <laughs> Penny. Are you the one? Winter, thank you. I know that must have been difficult. I... I'm so sorry. <laughs> and... We're gonna... Whom do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Still just me. It was smart of you. Not to bring the lab down here. Well, I, I mean, trust me either right now. Trust is what I'm hoping to fix. I know we can still figure this out, all of it, together. Please. Do you intend to fight me? No. That's exactly what she wants. I guess it's because of Oz, but holding it helps calm me down. You still think I'm afraid? We all are. And you aren't? It's what we do in our fear that reveals- That's easy for you to say! You can label me whatever you'd like. But the fact of the matter is, I was right! The minute I softened, let my guard down, that's when Salem had her open. If you abandon Mantle, you abandon our best chance of reuniting the world. You abandon remnants, leaving millions to fend for themselves so a few can survive. What kind All of... All excellent philosophical points that won't matter if Salem wins. Listen to me. No, you listen. I am done letting others' inability to see the big picture get in the way of doing what's right. Rob, the council, this kingdom, even you. And you're as dangerous as she is, James. James, to my friends call me. To you, it's General. Wow. Do we get to see Oscar Semblance? Decision's gonna be, need to be made soon. Oh shit! Heck yeah, winter! So that was some awful screams. Does that cane have another trick?
have it, don't be over, don't be over. quality that is common across every living creature on this planet is fear. Winter! What did you do? It's funny, then, that as common as fear is, we so easily underestimate its power. Are you all right? Penny, what happened? She's gone. No. She's a part of you now. Fear of growing close to someone. The subsequent fear of loss. Fear of failure. Where's Oscar? And the relic. And as more people depend on you, those fears can take on greater power. Fear itself isn't worthy of concern. It is who we become while in its clutches. <laughs> I suggest you all surrender <laughs> and comply with the general's orders. Man, Winter took a beating. I can't do that. Then. I suggest you run. No, you're hurt! I'm not going to leave you like this. You're not leaving me. I'm giving you a head start. This is special operative Shni in need of immediate medical assistance. Send reinforcements over. We all have to carve out our own way. We need to go. Will you be proud of that person? Will you forgive them? Will you understand why they felt the need to do the things they did? them or will the person staring back at you be the very thing you should have feared from the start i suppose we all find out sooner or later What was that? These memories. You're back, aren't you? You saved me. Actually, you saved us. Oscar, I... Stop. All I want to know is how we save Atlas next. Salem. Oh, that thunder. The the sound of it is just. What the hell is that?
Damn you! Sorry, I'm just enjoying this um, ending credits song at the moment. Although that's probably a good way to guarantee this. Getting blocked initially. Man, what an episode. What a volume. This has been... This whole episode just felt really, really good. The, um... The music through this entire episode was really good. I wasn't sure whether I was breathing properly through the whole thing. Anyway, I prefer to leave the credits running and show them all because if I've shown um, by the grace of rooster teeth I'm permitted to react to the entire episode or yeah to each of the entire episodes so I think it's only right that I also show the entire credits All of these people worked on it in some way and deserve to be known. Trust, love, touch the sky, brand new day, celebrate, let's get real, hero, war until the end, fear. So, Jeff Williams. Soundtrack when? I'm kidding, I know it takes a while. I believe I remember hearing that usually at the point that the songs are done for the show, they're still not actually done as full songs. They've done literally just enough to be in the show. And afterwards they go and re-record or add the extra later later on so it could take a while but anyway that is both the songs and the score this volume again just fantastic yep much respect Monty you put together something amazing and I hope that you're proud of what's been made with it Um, what is there to say? Penny got the power. I had been wondering what would happen. I did feel like Winter getting it would have been too straightforward, 
since that was the intended path. I wouldn't have been against her getting it, but in the end I think it's better that Penny got it. We've shown the differences between Penny and Winter, sort of throughout the volume, where you've got Penny who is... Penny is compassionate, Penny has feelings, Penny is the literal robot, but who is... <laughs> I didn't mean to just pause on her legs there like that. Um, so, I mean, we've got Penny, who is a literal robot, but who has been showing constantly that she has feelings, even if she's always been quite unsure of how to handle them. She has compassion and puts people first. We saw that she chose to rescue Winter here rather than going directly back to the Winter Maiden. And then conversely, we've got Winter, who is human and who does have feelings, obviously. They've come out before, but who is working so hard to try to suppress them. So this has actually been a really good pairing of characters to show that juxtaposition. Cinder got thwarted again. I don't know what to say about it, actually. <laughs> she just keeps persisting. The end part where she is there's one victory for the villains i'm still expecting neo to just snap <laughs> and kill cinder oh man i mean neo really put in work this episode shown how skilled she is at fighting multiple people that's from straight up fighting, but also being able to use her power to be able to separate and then pick them off. So she succeeded in what she came to do, or what she was ordered to do, rather. Obviously, she still wants revenge for Tortwick's death, so by killing Ruby. But despite that, she went ahead and, as she was ordered, went to retrieve the lamp. She got it. And... Cinder just smugly walks away, even though she got beaten in her attempt. Ironwood. Well, Ironwood's not dead. So there's still... There's room for redemption. But for now, he's basically a, an, an antagonist. Watts is still alive. I'd been wondering about that. Some people thought he was dead, but I couldn't imagine that Ironwood at that point in time had been so far gone that he would have killed Watts. That power. These memories. Get back. Friendship. Not sure what's really happening here. I think this was just a uh... Again, this is more set up for next volume, just to show, look, Ospin is back a bit more actively. Not sure how much of that was um, Oscar's own power there. Ospin might have just been very carefully helping him throughout this volume to lead to a smoother integration. Obviously, the previous way wasn't working. They were too combative. In previous lives, he's managed to integrate properly, living with the, with the host, so at some point I think he forgot it and started just powering through. Or maybe always ended up combining with somewhat weaker-willed people. The earlier fights were great, the music was excellent. This was some good stuff. Frustrating because of the way that it's a cliffhanger, but it's been a while, and it could have been way worse, I think. We didn't get any deaths. I mean, the Winter Maiden, but we didn't get an Ironwood death. I mean, this, this episode. Winter didn't die. 
doesn't mean things are in a very good position. Obviously, Atlas is about to get completely wrecked. It's a whale. Giant flying grim whale. I don't know why flying whales just seem so terrifying. Are all of those various, are they all like the gorilla flying monkeys? Or is this a mixture of flying monkeys, other normal flying grim, normal, and whatever else? Atlas is pretty screwed. Never mind it falling just because of the staff. They could probably just wreck it straight up. This was cool. We've only seen Winter summoning... What are they? The, um... Beowulves? Oh, and that bird swarm as well. So... Well, I was sure that she had other summons available to her. Just hadn't had a chance to see them until now. This is one of those Grim that we saw in Volume 6, I think. Cinder took this out. That was very cool. I still think that Cinder did well despite losing. She didn't account on encountering a Winter Maiden who was still quite in control of her powers, if not her um, memory. <laughs> Yeah, just for sheer strength. I don't think she could come up. I don't think that she could beat this Winter Maiden. Definitely far less regret here than in the opening. Ah. Uh. Gee whiz. Man, Monty was so young. Anyway, I believe that's that's it for this reaction. I don't have anything else useful to say. I'm just going to leave it there. Maybe if I can think of enough other points that I want to make, I can just create another video afterwards. But otherwise, what were my thoughts on the volume as a whole? Good. Good pacing, good music. Good animation, good fight scenes. Good character development. I think I need to let it stew a bit more, so... And I want to go watch some other people's reactions now. Or soon, I guess. I don't know how many people, I don't know how many reactions will be available right now, but I'm eager to go see what's going on. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to wrap this reaction video up now. For now, I think I need to be able to just stop and be able to reflect on the volume as a whole and on this episode before I can put anything useful together, I think. It'll also give me a chance to see what other people think and um, see what things I've missed because I'm sure there's heaps. It's a lot more difficult to pay attention when I'm doing the reaction for some reason. In short though, I liked it. It was a good volume. I can't wait for the soundtrack. Um, yeah, that's it. Please, if you happen to have been watching these and enjoyed it, then please leave a like just so that I can know that you were here. If you didn't like it or found something very annoying then leave a dislike. I would also love it if you'd leave a comment. While I'm largely doing this for myself, if someone else is actually getting something out of watching these I would love to know, that would be great. And if there's ways I can improve I would love to know as well. But anyway, for now I will leave you and I will see you in another video, whatever that might be, another time. Bye!